Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVT Bangalore. So next, uh, I am here to explain today a hexagonal prism problem. How to solve hexagonal prism and how to identify uh, locus and without locus problem in hexagonal prism. Yeah. So first problem uh, and hexagonal, it understood that it is having a six sides. Okay. So hexagonal prism, 25 mm sides and 50 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge. Okay. So draw the project projection of the prism when axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and appears to be VP at 30, 40 degree. Yeah, please key, uh, please remember here the word uh, word appear is present. So word appear is present means what? It is the without locus problem. Okay. So it's edge condition. So first condition is a edge condition. So this is how you can construct edge condition. If you're looking from top of an object, this is how it is visible. Okay. Edge condition means towards your right hand side. Yeah, do the naming. See uh, uh, the again it has six sides. I already told. So top face is visible. Bottom face is not visible. If you're looking from top of an object. So that is why A1, B1, C1, D1, E1 and F1 are bottom faces, A, B, C, D, E and F are top faces. So top faces are visible that is why we are not written in the bracket. So bottom faces are not visible so that is why we are written in the bracket. Yeah. See uh, yes you can draw projection line upward and O and is there. So you have to take a 50 mm height. So 50 mm height then you have to complete the rectangle box. See this axis line is overlapping with the O and O1. So that is why axis line is not visible. See uh, so naming, naming is if you looking from bottom of an object, bottom face A1 is visible. So A1 is visible, B1 is invisible, top face A is visible, B is invisible. Similarly, F is visible, C is invisible, Okay, E is visible, D is invisible. So this is the naming of this front view of an object. So this is the first position of the hexagonal prism. What is the next position? Next position is it, you know axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree. Yeah. See 45 degree. Next similarly you take any one object and you can place then you can rotate. Okay. So now rotate it. The same naming will be copied here. Okay. So the same naming will be copied. Okay. This rotation with the help of 45 degree inclination with HP. Next you have to draw projection line downward and uh, do the naming. Okay. So <coughs> what is the next step? So next step is you have to identify whether is a which one is a invisible and which one is a invisible edges. So which one is a visible? All outer edges are visible. Okay. All outer edges are visible. So I have to draw draw with the help of visible line. So first thing yeah I have drawn with the help of visible line. Next is if you looking from top of an object this top face is completely visible. So we have to draw with the help of visible line. Next which one is a invisible? A1 and B1 point is a invisible. So means these two are invisible. So I have to draw with the help of invisible line. See I already said that joining between invisible point to visible point we have to use it, uh, invisible line. So that is what we have used and this is the second position. See as I already uh, mentioned in the problem up here is present in the problem. So it is a without locus means directly axis is inclined to VP at 40 degree. Appear so we appear at 40 degree same thing okay this is axis O to O1 you can just place then the complete image will be copied there okay what is next thing next thing is you have to draw projection line upward then you have to do naming okay so you have to do the naming next is what you have to identify which is a visible and which is a invisible so to find identify which is a visible and which is a invisible so first thing is you have to draw all outer edges are visible okay all outer edges are visible. Next is if you are looking from bottom of an object the bottom face is completely visible. So we have to draw with the help of visible line which is the invisible the point C and B are away from the observer. So these two points are invisible. So we have to use invisible line. See the red lines are invisible edges. Okay. So uh, here uh, as I already said the joining between invisible to visible we have to use a invisible edges. Okay, So this is the first problem of hexagonal prism. We will see what is the next problem. See a very simple thing it is a edge condition. Okay, Please remember it is a edge condition problem. So next yeah, next problem you can see hexagonal prism 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length the same problem Okay, and it is a edge. Okay, But you can see the last sentence draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and VP at 30 degree means the world appear is not there but 
the axis of the prism is inclined to both the plane so hp and vp so that's why it is a with locus please remember so first position and second position is same related to previous problem okay so edge condition so edge condition i have to do the naming okay next i have to draw projection line upward next i have to take axis length 50 then i have to complete the things and then i have to go for naming so naming is done okay so this is the first position okay similar to last problem okay now after that i have to go for 45 degree to hp so 45 degree to hp second position i have to draw inclination line then i have to take can select any one point then i can place here then i have to rotate to a 40 de 45 degree okay so this is what i have done okay next i have to go for naming okay the same thing na same naming will be copied so this is a inclination to hp what is the next i have to draw projection line okay projection line then i have to do naming naming after that i have to go for finding out the visible and invisible edges so first step is what you have to draw all outer edges with the help of visible line so i have drawn all outer edges with the help of visible line next step is what so if you're looking from top of an object all top face is completely visible so i have drawn I have to draw with the help of visible edges so i have completed the visible edges next is i have to find out the invisible invisible is what a1 and b1 point is an invisible point so i have to do with the help of red line so the all red lines or dotted lines are called as invisible lines so this up to here it's same related to previous problem what is the next so next is to find out the uh, it's uh, to consider the locus problem i have to find out true length so true length is already given in the problem it is 50 mm next i have to find out apparent length so true length is between o to o then apparent length is also should be between o to o so this is the apparent length and this is a true length see i have to take a 30 degree inclination line okay next i have to use a true length i have to place a mark on this then i have to draw locus line okay locus line after that i have to take it apparent length so from this point i have to cut an arc and i have to join the line between the arc and the uh, center point so this is a o and o1 is a axis of the hexagonal prism so next is what i have to take this uh, apparent view then i have to place here or i have to extend this line then i have to find out the beta angle see i have extended and i have to find out the beta angle next is i have to select this and i have to place here okay yeah i have placed okay now after that what you want to do you have to draw projection line upward and then you have to do the naming so projection line upward do the naming okay so naming is completed next part is what i have to find out visible and invisible edges so first step is i have to draw all outer edges are visible see all outer edges are visible next is what if you're looking from bottom of an object this bottom face is completely visible so that i have to draw with the help of visible line next is what i have to find out which are the invisible point means which are the points are away from the observer that is c and b are away from the observer so that i have to take with the help of invisible edges that's it okay see very simple very simple first thing is you have to identify the problem whether it's a locus or local without locus or edges inclined axis are inclined so this completes the second problem and it is a locus okay so we'll go for next problem okay so this completes the edge condition problem for hexagonal prism next we we have a corner condition problem okay yeah we'll see the next problem see uh, it is a corner condition you can read the problem carefully 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length rest on hp and one of its corner till now we have done only h condition so corner of the base such that two base edges containing the corner on which it rests makes equal inclination with hp and draw the projection of the prism when axis of the prism is inclined to hp at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to vp at 45 degree appears to be means without locus okay yeah we'll see uh, corner position first yeah this is a corner position if looking from top of an object so this hexagonal prism look like ex regular hexagonal then do the naming see as i already discussed in the previous problem so a1 is a bottom face a is a top face so bottom face is invisible top face is only visible see do this is the naming then draw the projection line upward then take a axis length is 50 okay so complete the first projection after that you have to go for naming so if you're looking from bottom of an object a1 is visible 
f1 is visible e1 is visible t1 is visible but c and b are invisible so that is the naming c a1 dash a dash f1 is visible b is a invisible similarly e is visible c is invisible that's it so this is a first position of hexagonal prism okay and this is a front view and this is a top view what is the next step second step is you have to incline axis to 40 degree with hp see hp 40 degree i have to take 40 degree line then i have to place this thing the naming will be copied similarly the same thing same naming will be copied what is the next step i have to draw projection line downward see projection line downward then do the naming so what is the next step i have to find out which one is the visible and which one is a invisible so first join all the outer edges with the help of visible line finished so what is the second if you looking from top of an object this top face is visible so i have to complete with the help of visible lines what is the next step see this point a1 is invisible so joining between all two other points are invisible lines see the all red lines are invisible line so this completes second position what is the third one a since it is a without locus problem you need not to find out any beta angle okay so you need not to find out any beta angle so straight away axis is inclined to vp at 45 degree so 45 degree so same thing will be copied axis is copied okay the naming is done after that i have to draw vertical upward line projection line okay vertical upward the naming is completed what is the next step so next step is i have to find out visible and invisible edge so first step is i have to draw all outer edges are visible all outer edges are visible with the help of visible line what is the next i have to find out which one are visible and which one is invisible point see uh, you can find out the visible and invisible point that is b and a is a b and a is a away from the observer and before that if you looking from bottom of an object this bottom face is visible so i have to draw with the help of visible lines next b and a is invisible so that i have to complete with the help of what invisible edges so that's complete the problem see uh, the cad is very easy and you can solve very easily so here the construction is very very important please be careful the third position may go wrong in manual drawing so be careful that's why my recommendation is first complete the projection line and then do the naming then you go for joining the edges okay so we'll see what is a uh, uh, next problem and what is how to solve the next problem yeah next problem is uh, you can see the you can read the problem only difference is last problem appear is present this problem appear is absent if appear is ab absent then it understood that it is a with locus problem okay everything is same but you have to find out beta angle and construction beta construction then you have to complete the final position see first and second position is same from the uh, for previous uh, related to previous problem okay corner position okay top view naming okay now then projection line upward 50 mm height okay so next is uh, front view of hexagonal prism next is naming okay so they everything similar to previous problem what is the second step second step is axis 40 degree to hp then i have to draw inclination 40 degree line then i have to place and i have to rotate with the help of naming the naming is done what is the next i have to draw projection line downward and then do the naming projection line downward then do the naming what is this next i have to find out which are visible and which are invisible so all outer edges are visible edges so i have to draw with the help of visible edges so uh, yeah this completes the visible edges next if you looking from bottom of an object sorry top of an object the top face is completely visible i have to use a, you know visible edges to complete the top face next is which is invisible a dash is a invisible so that i have to draw with the help of invisible line so that red lines indicates invisible line so next is i have to find out the true length and i have to find out the apparent length before constructing a beta so true length is 50 is already given in the problem is between o to o and apparent length is also between o to o i have to find out apparent length next is i have to draw inclination line with vp okay then with the help of true length cut an arc and place the point draw locus line 
then take a apparent length from the same point cut an arc on locust line you will get the point so join these two and then do the name you know extend it to xy line you will get the beta then similarly you select this o to o and place there ok so complete the diagram is copied then the naming is done ok what is the next step I have to draw projection line upward ok and then do the naming see projection line upward then do the naming ok what is the next step I have to join all the outer edges are visible see here it is very uh, critical thing to find out the outer edges ok and you have to be very very careful to find out the critical you know uh, outer edges ok see all outer edges are visible clear so these are the all outer edges see a uh, very very important is you have to zoom and you have to join while doing in computer while manual drawing 100 percent you will make a mistake while solving this problem so be careful by before solving this problem next is if you looking from bottom of an object the bottom face is completely visible so join with the help of visible line next is what we have to find out the invisible invisible is what b and a is the invisible points so i have to use red lines so these are the invisible edges of this diagram okay so this complete the problem number four okay hexagonal prism so this completes the hexagonal prism problems see please my sincere request for problem and solving in hexagonal prism so third position may go wrong so you have to you know all the positions is carries there is one mark but the third position will be a carrying maximum marks because the third position is very interesting thing and you will make a mistake while joining the points so that's why draw the projection line then do the naming don't draw unnecessary lines ok so up to where it reaches join up to there ok immediately do the naming so it very very helpful and if you join all the line then if you go for if you are going for the uh, naming means it creates a big problem so don't do that so join the line and immediately do the naming ok thank you